To give you a better view of the installation, we are using a lift. Like most hitch installations, this vehicle does not need to be elevated for the install. Let's go over the tools necessary for the install. You will need a hammer, a half inch socket, a three quarter inch socket, a 10 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter wrench, a 15 millimeter socket, a 17 millimeter socket, a half inch ratchet, half inch extension, and a half inch torque wrench. You will also need a drill with a 17 30 seconds drill bit. If present, remove skid shield and trim fascia. For this installation, we remove the two outer bolts and three trim retainers to lower the fascia. Start by removing the stabilizer bar fasteners and brackets, allowing the stabilizer bar to swing freely. Next, raise the hitch, stabilizer bar, and stabilizing brackets into position and fasten the bracket to the hitch and frame with the supplied M10 hex bolts and 3 8 conical tooth washers. You may need to use a jack to get the stabilizer bar back into position. Take note, the lip on the underside of the frame rails may need to be flattened for later use. Using the hitch as a template, drill a 17 30 seconds hole in the foremost attachment point. Repeat this process on the opposing side. Position the SP52 spacers between the hitch and frame rails. With the spacers in place, insert the coiled end of the fish wire in through the previously drilled hole and out through the end of the axis hole in the frame rail. Place the square hole spacer over the wire and into the frame rail, followed by threading the half inch carriage bolts into it. Pull on the opposing end and attach the hex flange nut. Repeat this process on the opposing side. Now, torque all M10 fasteners to 35 foot-pounds. Then, torque all half-inch hardware to 75 foot-pounds. This completes the installation of the Curt 31084 front mount receiver hitch on the 2001 Jeep Cherokee.